we've said that we can use coordinate vectors to store vectors in other vector spaces. That's really underselling what's going on, though. Definition. Two vector spaces are isomorphic. If there is a transformation T from one to the other such that T is linear T is on to and T is one to one. If we have these conditions, T is called an isomorphism. And the take home message of this video is that from a vector space point of view. Isomorphic vector spaces are identical. Let me give an example to discuss this idea a little further. Let's look at P sub two, the polynomial vector space of polynomials of degree two or less. We won't prove that this is an isomorphism, at least at the moment. But this is isomorphic to R3. And our notation for that is an equal symbol with a kind of squiggle over it. In particular, the transformation that takes AX squared plus BX plus C and maps it to the vector a, B, C 
is an isomorphism. We'll prove this a little later. So from a vector space point of view, there is no difference between vectors here and vectors here. That's obviously not to say that mathematically there is no difference. It's just to say that to see that difference, you have to step out of the vector space setting. Like, what are things we can do to these polynomials that we can't do to these vectors? Well, polynomials are functions. We could evaluate these polynomials at values of x. But evaluating polynomials isn't a vector space operation. The only vector space operations we have are addition and scalar multiplication. Or we could multiply two polynomials together. That's something that you can do here that you can't do here. But again, that's taking us outside of the setting of vector spaces. Multiplying two polynomials together is not a vector operation. Our only vector operations are addition and scalar multiplication. And if we restrict ourselves to those, anything that we do to these polynomials, we can also do to these vectors. And the spaces are indistinguishable.